How can a book that was revealed 1400 years ago in Arabia appeal to this day and age? Do you believe that the Quran is universal and timeless? Well, that's the miracle of the Quran. I told you that, you know, yeah, every book has a certain level that it is suitable for. So even, you know, children books, it says this is three plus, this is seven plus, this is 12 plus. So a three-year-old will not benefit from a book for a 12-year-old. So of course, a PhD holder will not benefit from a three-year-old book. The Quran is the only book that is suitable for all ages and for all levels of education. And that's the miracle of it. But the problem is, when we don't use it properly, the Quran is a medication. Allah said, And we descend from the Quran what is a shifa, what is a cure for the believer. So it's a medication. Okay, we know people who memorize the whole Quran and it did not help them. They have their grudges, they have hasad, they have envy, they have hatred, they have, they even, they, 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 some of them even supported, you know, treason, supported in qilabat and so on. Okay, why did this happen? Because they were using it like this guy the wrong way. Allah said, Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyadabbaru ayatih. A blessed book that I have sent down to you, O Muhammad, so that they may ponder its signs. If you don't ponder the Quran, it's not going to help you. Go memorize it all. It's not going to help you. I actually count, do counseling for atheists. Nearly half of the uh, cases I have are memorizers of the whole Quran. Yeah, it didn't help them. Why? It's just memorizing, not understanding.